Hello there, Ms. Nama Mistero here with a Pompin Collective message. I hope you guys are doing well. This is going to be a collective reading. So this reading may or may not resonate with you. It is not time specific or science specific. So please take the messages that apply and simply leave the rest. I don't know about y'all, but all day, <clears throat> all day, all night, I've been hearing a lot of songs that... Um, have been like downloads, okay? Someone's in their feelings. And we're going to find out what this energy has to say about their feelings. Judgment. Mm. If y'all hear something in the background, that's like this um, oil diffuser that I'm using. It smells like eucalyptus in here. It smells like a whole spa. There's someone here who's very nervous about moving forward and doing what they feel called to do. Okay, we have Judgment, the Chariot, and the Nine of Swords with a free will decision towards something they want with the star. This person's quite clear about it in the King of Swords. Okay, so this could be a man or a woman who is very clear about something they want to pursue but they're incredibly nervous about pursuing it. Judgment, Sagittarius, Cancer, and Aquarius here. Let's go. Three of Wands. Yes, it's kind of like someone here is waiting for like a green light or an opportunity to move forward to what they want. With the Fool card, it's like taking a chance. I'm seeing this ship here. This person doesn't want this ship to pass them by. It's like an opportunity. This person doesn't want an opportunity to pass them by. We have a King of Cups acting very funny now. <laughs> it fell kind of like this. I don't know if y'all can see that. It fell a little off balance. This person has a wish. But they... <laughs> They don't know how to go about this with their feelings. Their feelings are all over the place. Why is the King of Cups acting like this? We have a hermit here. This is someone who could have been avoidant of this for a minute because this person is like, they're in a hermit cave. They're kind of trying not to see it. They're maybe even ignoring something and working, but they keep looking at what they want to pursue. Someone here is just discombobulated. Tell me more about this off-balance king of water. Yes. I pointed out this star card like three times now. Third time's a charm. Somebody here could have given something a shot before and it could have failed. But it's still a wish of theirs. That song from Kid Cudi comes to mind as well. Day and night. It says the lonely stoner seems to free his mind at night at, at, at night. We have the lovers, the ace of cups. Someone here has a lot of feelings that have ch has changed their world significantly. It's like these feelings. Another song lyric that hit me was like, it's amazing what love can do. It's amazing what love can do. Nine of pentacles and the ten of swords. <clears throat> This person could have, ooh, I'm seeing this individual's match at the bottom of the deck. We have the king and queen of water. So this could be a soulmate connection, right? This person is in a position where they could be single or they could feel this sense of independence. But there's a ten of swords around. Now, this person could have felt a painful ending recently. Why is that painful ending here? What is that about? They're still healing from something. For some of you, with the Five of Swords, this person could have been avoidant or this person could have been done dirty. And they're in a healing stage. I have two healing cards. We have the Temperance Angel and the Star card, which is healing. Someone here is healing from a, an ending. They are. With the Queen of Fire, there could have been another person who caused the sense of betrayal that they're feeling hanged man this could have been someone who was hung up over another individual i'm also getting this energy of certain things they've done before is catching up to them or it caught up to them 
The hangman is like, I'm stuck here. Something had them stuck in a situation. And it was a reflection of their choices before. With the Three of Cups, it could be people that they um, saw as companions, that they hung out with before. This is someone who is, yo... This person was betrayed or they were heartbroken and the heartbreak is what put them in a space of insecurity. With the Nine of Cups, they still have this dream for the long haul. So you know what this is giving? It's giving me the, the same energy of someone who picked and picked poorly. And it's like now they're healing from betrayal, but they still have that one dream. For some of you, it's like a lifelong partnership, a togetherness, family, expansion. But this person needs to heal. They need to heal from whatever happened here. Something that had them caught up, for sure. <laughs> and it's like it had them miserable, feeling betrayed. For some of you, even by their family members. Five of Wands in the reverse. Something about the battle being over now. It's done. There's nothing left to fight for. And whatever that was, it was like a struggle. But I'm seeing an energy who is kind of like waving the white flag. It's like, I'm done here. I'm, I'm over this. I feel like somebody hurts so much. I mean, Three of Swords, Ten of Swords. Someone here hurts so much that there's literally nothing left to fight for. I feel like this person could have been in a situation for a long time where it's like they experienced backstab after backstab after backstab. And it's like in them almost giving up the fight, surrendering the fight, five of wands in the reverse. This person is opting for a new beginning. Tell me more about the nine of cups. What is in this person's energy or dream? High priestess. There's a secret desire this person has. It's like they keep it to themselves how much they really, really want something. I feel like this person could have been manifesting this. I feel like maybe even a, in an, an intuitive person knows this person's desires. It's like a secret they keep closely to their chest that they really, really want something. It's something that they would have to choose or opt for in the Two of Wands. And more about the Nine of Cups, the Hermit. This person keeps themselves secluded from what they desire. And that's why it's like an energy of, well, it's time now. This person could have been in hiding, um, keeping their thoughts to themselves. I also feel someone isn't very trusting of other individuals anymore. It's like, I can't share my thoughts. They're a secret. I can't share my desires. They're a secret. I keep them close to my chest. And there's this uh, momentum that I'm feeling in the judgment card back here to move forward, to do it. Tell me more about the hermit. This person wants a stable new beginning. They do. They do. For some of you, this person really wants like a, a new lease on life, really. A new lease on life. Queen of Fire, Empress. And you know what? I was thinking about this card on my way home driving and I heard bitch fire <laughs> and then I thought to myself divine feminine what are you doing <laughs> the queen of fire is the card I saw in my mind's eye it's high level attraction it's someone standing in their power okay it's like yeah it's very nice it's very nice energy with the empress paired with it that's why I said it's definitely divine feminine energy so I'm all about the queen of wands what is the queen of wands on Three of Cups for some of you, y'all are going out. Maybe you're exploring your options. You're open to different things. The Three of Cups is celebrations as well. I get an energy of someone maybe even celebrating themselves, all right? You don't have to go out to celebrate yourself. You could treat yourself to a nice cup of coffee from Starbucks or get your nails did or do anything. You could groom yourself, get go to the barber shop. It doesn't matter, man or woman. This is like something that is increasing one's confidence. I see this confidence level going up high, sky high. It's very attractive. This energy, six of swords moving forward. You know what? I'm seeing someone scared of this person moving on without them. Six of swords is moving on, moving forward to calmer waters. Someone here could have even taken a trip 
This smells like a girl's trip or a guy's trip. It's like, I'm going to have a good time. <laughs> the Queen of Wands is like, I'm going to have a good time. I'm going to have me a good old time. It's making someone nervous. The Chariot, forward movement regardless. Yes, and someone feeling at a loss here. The Ten of Wands, it's like the, the loss is, is building. <laughs> the loss is building. Tell me more about this Hermit. This Hermit is going to reach out. Page of Wands is a message. Okay. <sighs> Someone here wants to take charge in, in initiating something because a person is afraid another individual might be moving on without them. All right. It's like the ship is sailing. That's exactly the top of the reading. I said someone is worried or they don't want this ship to pass them by. Okay. <laughs> Ace of Swords. That's the truth. They don't want to see this ship float on by. Tell me more about this page of wands. What is this message about? The Wheel of Fortune I'm hearing is going to change it's going to change the nature of the game. It's going to change the narrative of a dynamic. It's going to change a connection. Okay, this is very divine timing related. The Wheel of Fortune, this little message. It seems very small and minuscule, but it's going to change something significantly. It's also like the Wheel of Fate, right? The star, the Wheel of Fortune. There's something here fated, fated to kick off with the goat man. Yo, I'm telling you. Like white on rice, this goat man, oh wow. <laughs> Someone here sees a future with an empress. That's all they think about day and night. Four of Swords is usually a card of like resting, healing, but I see it more being like a reflective energy in this card specifically. Someone here is reflecting on the Ten of Cups with an empress energy and, and they're obsessive now. It's become an obsession. It's become an obsession. Queen of Pentacles, Two of Wands. For some of you, there's a person here who might have a choice to make between two people even. But there's someone here who's finding truth in what they're most attracted to, what draws them in. I'm getting the energy of a flock of something or a herd of something. It's like this person might not be the only one. Knight of Wands, Ace of Swords, someone's truth lies in what they're attracted to, what they feel compelled to do, because the Knight of Wands is very compelled to do something spur of the moment. It has a lot to do with one's free will here. Tell me more about the Two of Wands. This person is manifesting a new opportunity, manifesting for some a reconciliation. That's also the willpower to do something with the world. This is like a life-changing decision, a life-changing manifestation, a desire. This person could have even called something in through the energy of visual, visual, visualization. Visualization. <laughs> this is someone who... They can't escape something I'm hearing with the sun. Something that would make them incredibly happy, that they're clear on. Someone here wants to speak. Let's get a vibe of what they have to say. I have uh, fixed signs, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, Cancer, Virgo, Pisces here, Aries. I saw Aries, Sagittarius, Capricorn I saw earlier as well. We have Gentle. I am staying away from you because the last thing I want to do is hurt you. I know I've acted childishly. I don't know how to approach you now. <laughs> Excuse me. Someone here is like <sighs> reflecting on something they really, really want. I feel like this person got caught up in something messy here. And they they got entangled in something. I do feel that strongly. They got entangled. Whatever they were entangled in hurt them, miserably so. And in reflection, this person feels embarrassed for their actions, maybe even embarrassed for the way they treated a person or embarrassed for, you know, something that was the epitome of a new lease on life they know they've acted childishly but so they don't know how to approach a person whose confidence went up a notch now they're staying away because i feel like there's this energy of i don't want to do more damage than i've already done but they miss this person there is this vibe of a draw in something is drawing this person in <laughs> okay 
I wish I could. That's a wish. For some of you, this person is indirectly manifesting the opportunity to do something. I will be writing you a message. This person wants to contact the individual. They want to approach. Something upset them, so it's like they're settling their energy before they initiate. I hid something from you, and I'm afraid to tell you about it. Secrets. This person has a secret. Oh, things just got interesting. They're stubborn because for some of you, this secret could come out. Maybe you're going to ask about it or maybe somebody else might tell. Seven of Swords to the Tower. <laughs> tell me a little bit more about said secret. They hit something. I feel like they hit something that in coming forward would likely get exposed with all this trouble. Tell me more about this energy of hiding something. Now, that could look differently from all of you, but for I feel like this energy of somebody here is keeping something very close to their chest. It has them in a bit of a pickle here. Nine of Pentacles. This person keeps reading as an individual who is independent. Four of Pentacles. Yeah, they're hiding something, guys. There could be something they're hiding around their finances. There could be something they're hiding. Yeah, Six of Pentacles. It's definitely around their finances. Eight of Pentacles. It has a lot to do with their finances. This person also has a look. This this star is steady here. It's almost like that major arcana um, is triumphant over this thing they're hiding. Tell me more about the Four of Coins. This person has been. Their energy is very secluded. The Hermit with the Ten of Wands. It's. It's a dam that's about to break. This person can't stay here much longer. I get a vibe of someone being in hiding. And I feel when they come forward, it runs risk of something being exposed or maybe them being put in a position where they need to talk about it and they're maybe not even prepared to do that. Six of Cups. Nostalgia. It feels very um, peculiar, <laughs> the secret. It feels very uh, interesting. I don't know what it is, guys. It smells like something uh, they're afraid will come out. I ended it because I had other things going on that needed my attention. This is definitely someone who may be hurt in a period of separation with this individual. I'm too stuck in my ego right now. I still have a lot to learn. I know that I'm disappointing you and that you want to talk, but I'm just not ready for this. This person is hiding something that went south. I'm ending things with someone else because I only want to be with you. This is definitely smelling like a third party. Tell me more. I wish I handled things differently. I was selfish, immature, and only looking out for my best interest. You deserve someone better than me. Yeah, this person's insecure. And now that another person's confidence went sky high, it's like, I feel like somebody is, is almost feeling as though they're not needed here. They're not needed. I want to move on and let you go, but I just can't. Something keeps pulling me back to you. I feel that we have unfinished business to handle first. This is someone, you know, this energy of hurt people, hurt people. This is why this person is feeling a ways. I feel this vibe of like, am I even good enough for them? But the desire outweighs this insecurity. Their desire for this wish outweighs the insecurity. I'm also seeing like a person holding like this glass or crystal ornament. And it's like they're carefully holding it. They don't want to break it. So they see someone as like precious, okay? So it's like if I touch it and I'm seeing someone with like rough hands, for some of you there's a person here who has rough hands. And it's like, I don't want to break it. I don't want to, uh, you know what I mean? They admire it from afar. I keep seeing the stars. So we could have heavy Aquarius here. Have someone with Aquarius in their chart or a person who is visible. 
because the Queen of Wands paired with paired with the star card is a visible person or someone who's admired or looked up to in your community. You don't have to be like per se online. Like maybe somebody knows you to be a very nice person or a very generous person or a person that's, you know, e either easy on the eyes or has a good reputation. Like there's a vibe of like this person not wanting to destroy something good in your life. What else do we need to know about this situation? I see someone severing ties. The lovers came up in the reverse. This could be like a breakup. Knight of Wands. For some of you, the secret could have been a poor choice made before. The Knight of Wands is impulsive with the lovers in the reverse. It could even be an energy of... Here's that secret again. It could be an energy of something someone did. <laughs> in a reckless way. Page of Cups. Someone here wants to like make it right. For some of you, this person dragged you in a third party situation due to their maybe player like ways or childish antics. That's what this person is saying was incredibly childish of them. Whether they dragged you in a third party situation willingly, unwillingly, maybe you didn't you weren't even fully aware of all the nooks and crannies to a situation. This person feels silly. Like I get this vibe of like, is this apology even going to work <laughs> with the page of cups? It's because look at what I did in the past. Someone's actions or in and out behavior or impulsive behavior, childish behavior could have affected a connection, a divine connection. And now it's like, will this page of cups fishy flop suffice, right? Because that would be the right way of doing it. The divine is almost urging this person to correct their wrongs. And um, they feel overwhelmed if they don't. Wheel of Fortune. For some of you, this apology could change things. Whether it's um, a person feeling the justice of getting this apology or alleviating something to get something off one's chest. Because I feel like this person is harboring a lot of guilt. Um, in, in, I'm hearing the word secondhand embarrassment. So maybe you feel secondhand embarrassment for this person. I don't know what it is, but there's like, this person can't carry this around anymore. I feel like they've been in hiding because they're embarrassed of their actions. They're embarrassed of how they handle things. I feel a very nervous approach. Like, would this even suffice? Would this turn, turn things around? That's that page of wands again. Seven of cups. Eight of cups. They, they're walking away from a choice that had them fooled. The seven of cups is like, be careful with your choices. You have options, but which cup are you choosing? And I feel like they're walking away with the eight of cups from a choice that left them emotionally disappointed. So now they feel dumb to head forward to another person who whose cup they genuinely want. I feel this person memory like isn't going is going down memory lane of likely the love that you provide. <laughs> Queen of Cups. That's the best water if you ask me, right? Ooh. King of Cups. I'm telling you, this is someone's match, guys. It's the same King of Cups from the top of the reading that was fumbled. This person is realizing they fumbled a good one. It hurts. They feel so... I feel this energy of unworthiness because of how they treated you. They feel like whatever they do now, it, it might not suffice or it's like... It's embarrassment. Looking back at one's sense, high level sense of immaturity. So this, this apology or this... They're like... Would this even change anything? And they have so much overwhelming, like, feelings here. They're like, would this even matter if I say something? Two of Wands, that's a card of planning. They really want to plan ahead with this person that they love. And I feel like it's, a, it's, it's giving me, we both need to want this. You see how they're both looking at the globe, looking at the future that might lie ahead for them. They both need to want it. 
for it to work. Ace of Cups, that's a new start in love. I also see two people planning for something, like for some of you, it's something worth celebrating. Um, for some of you, there's an energy of pregnancy here as well, so let me just warn you all about that, okay? But I'm getting this vibe of like, they both would need to want this new start in love. They both would need to want it. Forgiveness is necessary. This person is just so ashamed. I'm just hearing the energy of shame so heavy. That it's like when they come in, they're like this. They're like, they would be surprised if you would even want to talk to them or give them the time of day. Like when I mean this person has been humbled, guys. Ace of Wands, the tower. They had a tower moment. Some kind of realization is going to put them in this position to maybe just shoot out and, and see if this, this person would rather try and get rejected than not try at all. Truly, that's what I feel. I have three aces out. Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands. This is someone who sees a future with who they're approaching. Also, this is an unexpected turn of events that could reset something in this connection if you so choose. And this really feels like it's up to you. It's entirely up to you. And you know... This is also the divine's way of balancing out the skills that this person feels this way. Because I got a vibe of like this person choosing another cup or choosing another path or choosing another option. Had another person feeling like, well, dang, is my cup not good enough? Why did this person walk away and, and leave me here when I did so much? This person was distracted by I'm hearing nonsense. So whatever distracted them, whether it's places, people, things, I'm telling you, there's a message coming through or an initiation that will literally change things. It says, I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. This is someone who wasn't moving at all. The hermit is not somebody who gets out there. This person couldn't even, I'm getting this energy of whatever the consequences were for a poor choice made before. They had no wiggle room. The divine had them stuck there for them to learn to the energy of pain. That it was a poor choice made. You know, we all have the free will to make choices. We all have the free will to choose A or B or C or D confirmation but we are not excused of the consequences that come from that this person picked picked poorly and they faced heartbreaking consequences for a poor choice made for some of you that heartbreak lies in losing you for other for others of you that heartbreak lies in conflict and betrayals that they have to experience over and over again i really feel this person for whatever divine reason could not move until the tenth sword was experienced for some of you, that's just the utmost betrayal with a choice they picked before. That's the divine lesson. That's how to humble this person, okay? To recognize a good cup when they had one. All right. So now this person coming back, not only have they digested the divine lesson of picking poorly, not being able to move, 10-10 completion. The lovers in the reverse is also a poor choice made. With the Knight of Wands, it could be even infidelity. Maybe someone cheated on them. All right? It's like, don't do unto others what you don't want to have done to you. I really feel a strong energy of karma and a divine lesson closing out that will bring this person forward because they can't alleviate this heaviness they feel unless they apologize this person wants to either apologize, come forward. They're not too hopeful, I'm going to be honest, in your response, right? But this is like a healing experience for this person to at least apologize. Because this is someone who's kind of tormented. This person could have been very indecisive and from a space of indecision, maybe not make a decision at all or go with the status quo here. Yes, denial. I use my intuition in all aspects of life. This person did not when they picked before. Oh, 
cold key. Now, I don't know what kind of offer this person wants to make, but I feel strongly if whoever is on the receiving end of this apology were to be receptive, it could move forward to something. That's why I see this energy of planning. This could be planning for anything, a partnership, a completion in a union, a new beginning here. This person was maybe very self-absorbed. All right, for some of you, they love bombed. For some of you, this person damn near smelled narcissistic because it's like, I get this vibe of it being all about them until they, they were put in a position to look at things differently. For some of you, they're finally acknowledging the hurt they've caused you by hurting themselves. Needs time, takes time, in time cycles, time to heal and progress. Have faith, love is coming, surprise invitation or a meeting. I feel very nervous all of a sudden. Like I feel incredibly nervous all of a sudden. What is the hidden truth? Some of you, they said certain things. They could have said very like offensive things. For some of you, they could have said something about you that might come back to haunt them. For some of you, that's what they regret saying is that, you know, we need to we need to part ways or this will never work. We need to let each other go. That's something they probably wish they could take back. I bury myself in work to forget you. Didn't I tell you someone here kind of like dives into other things to ignore something? How's that working out for you? For some of you, they hide behind material things. Which is work as well. Shiny things. This being in the reverse, it says, I know I was a distraction from your pain. I feel like you were a distraction from theirs. And they know they've crossed the line. That's why I feel like this is someone who thinks like, what good could this apology do? What good could this offer do? I really feel this energy of someone who's nervous to fall flat on their face, knowing that they're not deserving of a second chance. That's what this feels like. This person feels incredibly undeserving of a second chance. Unfortunately, they feel undeserving of a second chance. If this person put you put themselves here and you here in their actions, the truth is they see it like this. If, if you thought that this person put themselves here in their actions, now they've done this. And that's the way the energy is balancing. This person is experiencing certain pains they've put you through. This is someone who in their dreams, they're seeing likely future, maybe even different timelines of what y'all would look like together. I really feel that. This is someone who, as I said, visualizations, they see, they have dreams here of being with you, what that would have represented, because I feel you're the kind of energy they would feel so proud to walk beside. That's why it's like, if you thought this person looked at you like gum on the bottom of their shoe in the way they treated you, for whoever this reading is for, they're putting you on top, like truly. That's why they feel like I'm not worth a sec. I'm, I really hear that guy. This person doesn't feel worthy of a second chance. They're like, why would they want me? Wow. You know, this person is even like looking back at the memories they've made with you versus the memories of with someone else. It's like that wasn't, there's no comparison. 
being with my collective, the, the, the precious memories I've shared with them versus this other person or this other situation. Because the other situation brought them struggle, strife, and betrayal. And with you, shoot. That's why they're like, what have I... Yo. <laughs> this person. They look. The distance is killing me slowly, whether physically, emotionally, and they really hope that you don't let them go. I also... Yo. <laughs> why am I getting this... I feel like you you had put them in high regard. You treated this person like a king or a queen. That's why they're like, they feel a ways, guys. Yeah, this is a soulmate. They know that you are. That's why it's like, how could I have done this to them out of all people? Yo, I, I'd be praying too. Yo. That's what they say that was as well. You know, this secret desire is a combination of prayer. Do you see what this person is doing? And it's like, it's like this. <laughs> when no one is looking, when no one is watching, they're manifesting this. I miss you more than I'd like to admit. I'm getting karma for all of my past mistakes, the poor choices, and this is inspiring them to do better before they come forward because they're looking at you like, I gotta step up here. I got to bring on my A-game for this one because now they they got you here, yo. I don't even know if you don't believe this, but they got you here. And they're just like, what the hell do I do? For some of you, they might even feel like you don't want them intimately anymore. This is someone who knows they got to work. They're talking to people about you. Like, what am I to do? Yeah, because it's like they disappointed you one too many times. This is someone who feels unworthy of your love. Let's put things in perspective with this deck. Time alone or in nature will help you recharge. Someone in this connection is gripped by obsessive thoughts. I'm telling you, it's not leaving them alone. I also feel like this person is reflecting on how they allowed things to interfere in your connection. I feel like if you heard what this person had to say, it would be a healing experience. This person could have had financial challenges. One person is giving too much in the relationship. That's why I spoke of this. If you put this person on a pedestal and now you put yourself on a pedestal, it's causing the balance. If this person for once put themselves like, mm, 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 I got different situations to entertain here. And they put you here and now it's the other way. I'm telling you, this is something that's balancing the skills energetically. It has, it has the potential to go somewhere now that this person has humbled themselves. <laughs> I really feel this energy of humbling. This could be a new start in love, but it's up to, I really feel it's two people would have to want the same things. Yeah. This relationship can stand the test of time and a new love or recommitment is developing. That's what's developing because energetically this person had to get here. And I don't know what you did on your end for it to come to this point, but understand that this is where the energy lies now. And do with that what you will, right? We all have free will. This is where the energy is at. This is a soulmate. I'm talking about a soulmate here. Okay, this could be the one. Because, you know, you want that respect. If this person didn't respect you before, it's like, why entertain it if you're not respected? This person did something disrespectful. That's what I feel. It's like they just... And that's why the, the whole thing of like, if you thought this person 
treated you like the gun on a shoe right i'm just seeing this energy of just they, they walked all over your feelings they didn't they weren't considerate of it they damn near look narcissistic because it's like dude do you even see how much you're hurting me here that's what i'm hearing do you even see what you've done on this end like look at the damage that you've done now this person sees it smells it feels it hears it yeah it's it hit home and it's because the other side's energy went like this, like the 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 vibration went even higher to a point where like you picked yourself up from the floor, you got your confidence back, you move forward. I really feel this energy of someone took their power back. So now it's like this person ain't got no power anymore. Now they feel like a bit of a bum. They have a lot of passionate thoughts here about you as well. stay optimistic they're trying to stay optimistic but I'm, i feel like you are being more optimistic about your love life i feel like someone here wants alone time with you okay there could be passion on that trip as well they're trying to be playful this is someone who's trying to recapture things again yeah i wanted to say after an apology heart to heart conversations this person wants to express their feelings they just don't know if it's enough at this point but I'm telling you, this energy won't rest. It says, yeah, really, a real angel. I just got a message here. Somebody really maybe be talking about you and describing you as an angel and how they treated you poorly. This person could have described you as an angel. Because this girl here, she got, she got, she's wearing white and it almost looks like these are wings. It's like, and here again, wearing white. This is someone's feelings right now. Like right now. I'm hearing run away with me. I don't really know that song. Or come away with me. It's like a, from a movie, I think. On my way at the bottom of the deck. Let's see. Run away with me. This is a runner, as I say, run away with me. Yo, they were pretending the whole time when they were running away with you. I just feel like someone's mask slipped. Yeah, they regret it miserably slow, pretending they maybe, it's like uh, pretending they got better things to do, pretending they ain't got feelings for you. Pretend, pretend, pretend. It's a mask they wore daily. They, when I tell you regret, and look, secondhand embarrassment. You see how one person's holding their face, but there's another person like this? It's like maybe people, I'm really feeling the energy of like secondhand embarrassment. There could be a friend or someone close to them. It's like, like, what did you do, bro? Or what did you do, sis? Like, I'm embarrassed for you right now. And that's what's hammering it even more. Like, I really feel someone close to this person's just like... How are you even going to fix this? Like, what did you do? It really feels strong, too. So let me tell you something. If you're talking to a person, right, and you tell them a story, and they look at you like you're crazy, like how, what were you even thinking? It lands on you even more how big you screwed up, right? That's what I'm feeling. They're daydreaming and they're determined. I feel like this person can't wait anymore. They, this is like, I'm seeing like this nervous tick, right? I don't know if someone plays with their pen at work. They can't concentrate on work either. So it's like whatever they were doing before to deny you, now that the energy has shifted, they can't distract themselves anymore. They just can't. They, ha they haven't given up on this though. For some of you, you're not interested. And maybe that's why... The energy swap. I'm seeing third party situation. Three is a crowd, right? And a person here is rejecting a third party situation. For some of you, you rejected this. Maybe you felt, you know, you're like, I don't want nothing to do with that. It's really giving no. <laughs> That's the Queen of Wands energy right there. This is someone who wants to give or they want to be nice. For some of you, you rejected something, yes. I have a pop-up ghost here. For some of you, addictions had them caught up with a karmic, with karmic partner in the reverse. 
support. You know, I'm also seeing you were supportive of them. You, yo. So whoever they were around, like karmics can be friends, family, exes. It doesn't matter. I'm seeing it's like you were trying to help this person climb up a healthier pedestal in life. It's like, okay, I'll help you. And they could have ghosted you to give in to their addictive patterns with another person, okay? Because it's like, it's easier to fall back on this than it is to get help to be, be a better person. And I don't know what those addictive patterns were, but I'm seeing it, right? Something could have ended here in the recent past, in that narrative. For some of you, I'm seeing surprise communication that could lead to commitment down the line. All right, this could, this is this is gonna surprise somebody, the intentions they have. Okay, I do see communication because this person can't keep it in. It's like where they could have distracted themselves before it ain't working. Where the toxicity was a fallback, it ain't work. It they got betrayed. Okay, so that's what I have for you guys. If this reading resonated, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, bye.